Hey, this is Mikey and I want to just do a quick video of a real world example of using After Effects to help you out in your everyday job. So I'm not a YouTube personality full time. I actually have a job uh, doing some video editing. And so here is a local commercial I was doing and they came back and said, we need this sticker removed. Can you do that? And of course I said, yes, I can do that. And I thought I'd do a quick video showing that process. I'm in Premiere Pro now. And what I want to do is since I have an RGB curves to this, I need to duplicate this because when I bring this over in After Effects through the dynamic link, it's going to actually get rid of that RGB curves. And so I'm going to just quickly duplicate this layer so that the bottom one, I still have it. And I can just copy and paste the curves over to it. And then I'm going to take this, this video clip that I want to use, I'm going to replace with After Effects Composition. And if you don't have After Effects already open, it'll open that for you. It'll ask you to save the project. And then here is the first clip. And as you can see, um, the color changed because it removed it removed that RGB curves. Now what I want to do is I want to I need to do some tracking because in the shot it's moving and so I can't just do some masks and things. I do need to do some tracking because of that movement. Before I do any tracking though, I want to create a mat that I'm going to use as a mask. I can't use masks in this because it's not as simple as it seems. So, but I can easily create my own mask using a track mat. And so I'm going to use just the pen tool. I'm going to zoom in nice and close. And let's make a shape around that sticker that they want removed. Okay, looking good. Now I'm just going to go ahead and hide that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to patch this area with this area right above it. Now it's all just kind of black, but there is a little bit of grain and a gradient um, to this color. So I can't just put a black solid over that because it's not going to look right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually duplicate the layer and kind of move things around. But before, again, we need to do tracking. So let's select the layer, come over here to the tracker. If you don't have that open, go to Window, Tracker, make sure it's turned on. And I want to track motion. And it's going to bring up this point. And I only need one point with this. There's not a lot of different movements. So I'm just going to pick somewhere right around here where there's some good contrast. Track forward. OK. Now let's edit the target and make sure it's set to that shape layer we just made. Click OK and apply that. So now what we got going on is the shape layer is in the wrong spot. That's okay, because we can come in to the anchor point and move it over. Cover up right where we want it to be. So that is going to be our mask. And how we use it as a mask is I'm going to take this bottom layer, duplicate it, and I'm going to move it somewhere else so we can see the difference. And then come to the track mat and do alpha mat. And what has happened is now you can see it cuts a hole and basically makes a mask patch out of that. Now what I want to do is I want to scale that up because I don't have quite enough room and just move it around so I can't see that sticker anymore. And if I want to feather the edge on this mask, well then just go to the shape layer, add a fast blur to it, and you can see I can feather that edge right there. About 13 is looking pretty good. And then as we go through, that's all patched up. And that was a pretty quick tutorial. Now all I have to do is save that. Head back over to Premiere. And it updated automatically. And since I kept that copy of the RGB curves, I can just copy and paste that on. And it has my my color grade that I had already done on it. And there we go. That shot is done. So I just thought you might want to see a real world example of using After Effects, not just to do motion graphics, but in your editing. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.